Zen master Hakuin was renowned throughout the land for his extraordinary wisdom, rooted in the teachings of Zen Buddhism. He was known not only for his profound spiritual insights, but also for his remarkable ability to navigate the rough seas of human emotions, particularly the pain inflicted by others. One day, as the golden sun cast its warm glow over Hakuin's tranquil village, a young and inquisitive disciple named Kaito approached the Zen master. He had been grappling with the anguish that came from the unkind words and actions of people around him. Seeking guidance and solace, he humbly bowed before Hakuin and asked, Master, how can I deal with the pain that others' words and actions bring into my heart? Hakuin, ever the symbol of serenity, welcomed Kaido with a gentle smile. Come, he said, leading the young disciple to a serene spot under the shade of a magnificent cherry blossom tree, where delicate petals swayed in the breeze like nature's confetti. Hakuin plucked a vibrant pink cherry blossom and held it out to Kaito. Hakuin nodded approvingly, then handed the disciple a pure white blossom. Now, he inquired, what color do you see in this one? Kaido observed the white blossom, its pristine purity standing out against the vibrant pink backdrop of the tree. This one is white, Master, he answered. Hakuin smiled, his eyes twinkling with ancient wisdom. You see, Kaido, he began, just as these cherry blossoms exist in different colors, so do people. Some are like the gentle pink petals, offering kindness and warmth. But remember, the essence of a cherry blossom remains the same, regardless of its color. Kaito's eyes lit up with realization. So, Master, you mean to say that people are like these blossoms, sometimes kind and sometimes hurtful, but their essence, their true nature, remains unchanged. Akuin nodded with a serene smile. Exactly, my dear Kaido. The beauty of life lies in its diversity and imperfections. Just as a cherry blossom retains its essence, regardless of its color, so too. Kaito felt a deep sense of calm wash over him as he absorbed Hakuin's teachings. He learned that people, like cherry blossoms, are complex and varied, and their actions may sometimes hurt but that shouldn't define one's own inner serenity. Just as Hakuin remained unwavering in his tranquility, Kaido realized he had the power to choose his reactions to the words and actions of others. As the sea, he understood that he too could find a way to handle emotional pain with grace and resilience, just like the cherry blossoms that bloom in various shades but remain beautiful in their own unique way. The story of Zen master Hakuin and the cherry blossom serves as a timeless reminder that our inner essence, our true nature, remains constant regardless of the external circumstances. It encourages us to embrace the diversity of life, find strength in our inner peace, and remember that, just like cherry blossoms, we can be beautiful in our unique way, despite the sometimes hurtful world around us. So whenever you feel hurt, remember Hakuin's wisdom and the cherry blossoms, and watch this story to discover how to handle emotional pain with grace and emerge stronger, just as these blossoms do with each passing season.